Verbum Bible software is clearly a powerful tool for scripture study. But not only. Isn't it the case that we often come to our digital library wanting to study any number of subjects, even if scripture isn't our starting point? And so that's what I want to show in this video, especially how to use two tools, namely collections and cited by, in order to study a subject. Okay, so let's scroll down if you've not pinned these to the top as I have. Make sure you're able to find here in the section called Look Up, you'll find Cited By, and then just under that, Library has the tool Collections. More on those tools in a moment, but for the time being, I do want to highlight the scenario. The scenario is this. Let's say you want to study the subject of the Eucharist as memorial in your digital library. What might you do? I think many of us would simply go to the library, pull off one uh, particular book from the shelf, like the Catechism of the Catholic Church, and then look for a key term. Maybe we do an inline search on memorial and hit enter, and then just begin scrolling down to see the results. And maybe we find something here in the index that says the sacrament of the Eucharist. In fact, it's discussed as a memorial. Okay, so I scroll down to that section where memorial appears again and again. I see the key term anamnesis. I get a quasi-definition here in 1363. It says, in the sense of sacred scripture, the memorial is not merely the recollection of past events, but the proclamation of the mighty works wrought by God for men. In the liturgical celebration of these events, they become, in a certain way, present and real. And it seems that this notion of making present or representing the sacrifice of Christ is something discussed at some length here. So that did render some good results, right? Searching one topic in one resource. But wouldn't it be great if we could search for a subject across many resources at once? We can, and Verbum has already anticipated that desire. Look, just open a search pane and notice that in lieu of searching inside of all, this tab at the left, come two to the right to find books. And there we can search inside of all resources, or we could limit the search to just the catechism or just the church documents. So let's do that. Now that I know that the Eucharist uh, makes present, let's see where else in the catechism we get this same kind of language. I'll go ahead and sort by resource. Look, we have 11 different resources that discuss just such a thing. Maybe I'll come to Sacramentum Caritatis. There's a 14 times we get some hits over here. Look at this. The Eucharist causal principle of the church. And we read, since the Eucharist makes present Christ's redeeming sacrifice, we must start by acknowledging that there is a causal influence of the Eucharist at the church's very origins. The Eucharist is Christ who gives himself to us and continually builds us up as his body. I think that's fascinating to think of the Eucharist as something that makes the church, something that builds up the church. And I'm so glad that Verbum pointed me towards a document that I might not have known to look for, but because of collections, I was able to find it. So now that we understand this principle about collections, let's, let's make them our own. What if we could build our own creations, our own collections? Well, isn't this the case that we do this at home all the time? On your bookshelf, you have those books by one author all in one place. And then maybe you have another bookshelf where you have all your dictionaries. And maybe another one is where all those books on one topic, and there they are situated together. Well, we can do something like that in Verbum, and it's worth doing. Let's learn how to open from tools, collections, and we just made, look, a brand new collection. Let's call it Aquinas because I want to make this the collection of all those books made or written by Thomas Aquinas. So it's asking me for a rule here. All I can think of is to put a keyword like Aquinas. Well, look what happens in the place below. By the way, if you're not seeing it like this, you're going to make, you might be in the cover view or maybe the tile view. 
but you get way more information if you're in the details view. So notice that I have 60 resources in this resulting collection, and some of them are written by Thomas Aquinas. See how he's the author here? But if I click that, look at all these other authors that are also here. Thomas Aquinas is only some of them. Well, that tells me something. I want to make that my rule. I'm going to come back over here to the, to the title and notice that what I really am interested, I just want those titles that have Thomas Aquinas as their author. So you know what you do? You just come over here and type author colon Aquinas, no space. And this, by the way, is a good rule of thumb. Anytime you have a title at the top of a column, you can always place that here, followed by a column, and then simply specify which author you want. In this case, Thomas Aquinas. And you see that now I have 19 books, all of them written by Aquinas. Great, we've made the tool. Let's do the fun part. Let's, let's use it. Let's search within it. So this time, I want to search not inside of church documents, that default um, collection. Instead, I want to see the new collection I just made. And let's look for the term memorial inside of here. Okay, already I can see something interesting. Look, I'm getting six resources. I might have thought to look inside the Summa by Thomas, but maybe I didn't know to look inside the, these commentaries on the Gospels or the Summa Contra Gentiles. I love that I can quickly access all of this good information. Okay, now I'm not gonna dive into Thomas further. You get the idea. I could easily make a collection by all my top um, authors. Maybe I'm constantly searching inside of the works of Pope Francis or Pope Benedict XVI or Pope St. John Paul II. Why not make a collection who have where, where the books are authored by those particular people? And then you can save it and search it. All right, let's go back to collections because I want to make a, yet another type of the collection. In addition to author, what could we do? Let's look for all of our Bible dictionaries. This is going to be helpful, I'm sure. Okay, remember, if you don't know what to make for a rule, just put the keywords that come to mind and look for Bible dictionaries. Some good stuff is here, the Anchor Yale Bible Dictionary, the Catholic Bible Dictionary. But look, as I scroll down, I'm seeing a glossary over here. Here's a Bible. Okay, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. I want all my Bible dictionaries. Notice how there's this column called Type. I can click that. And see that I'm getting all types of different uh, books here, all types of different resources. Encyclopedia is here. And look inside the Lexham Bible Dictionary, the Harper Collins Bible Dictionary. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I see Verbum is classifying them according to the type encyclopedia. So now that I know that it's not Bible dictionaries that I need here, but instead encyclopedia. Watch what happens, 17 results, and here I have good resources. That is exactly what I was looking for. Okay, we've made the collection, let's go give it a test drive. Okay, what should we look for inside of Bible dictionaries? I tell you what, since the biblical word for memorial is anamnesis, maybe we can search that one. And sure enough, we get 10 resources with results. One of them is this one here. It says Sacramentum Mundi. Okay, as, as I open that up, what do we get? Well, there's this one's got four hits inside of it. Let's read this. Anamnesis here means not only the subjective presence in the consciousness of the participants, but the objective presence in actual reality, in the acts and words of worship. Strong language, I'm, I'm glad I was able to find this resource that defines further that particular theme. I knew that a Bible dictionary might help, but I didn't know where to look, and I'm so glad searching through collections helped me find something useful. Okay, so we've, we've made um, an author, we've made a Bible dictionary collection. Let's do that third category, let's, let's make a new type of collection, all on the theme of the Eucharist. Okay, so I'll put that keyword also as my rule. Let's see what kind of titles are popping up here. It looks like there's a good monograph here from Lawrence Feingold. That's of interest to me. I noticed that it's on the subject of the Lord's Supper. Um, and so it occurs to me to see what, 
what else is like that? I see this is also on the Lord's Supper, as is this, as is this. But look, then, then there's the Episcopal Church has the Book of Common Prayer. That's a Sunday lectionary. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. So it's not so much that it's a lectionary, but above all, I'm noticing that it's subjects that could be helpful. I'm interested in all these that have the Lord's Supper as my um, as the subject. So let's go ahead and change this rule. We'll make it subject colon Eucharist. That could have been uh, something that worked, but the fact is it's rendering zero results. But now I know why. I know that Verbum is classifying them according to the subject called Lord's Supper. So since that's two words, let's put it between quotation marks. And look, we're getting exactly 17 results, um, and the, these are all of interest to me. Okay, so let's give that a run. We'll go to search. We'll change Bible dictionaries to instead our new collection on the Eucharist. And there we can look for anamnesis. Sure, that's fine. Notice that we're getting um, seven, 10 resources here. One of them is this one here, Liturgies on the Eucharistic Sacrifice. And let's... Let's scroll down to that first uh, search result, and we can see that, look at this, John Chrysostom gives us perhaps the classic patristic text on Eucharistic sacrifice. Did you know that? I didn't know that. What does John Chrysostom have to say about making a memorial of Christ's death? Is it something that we offer daily? What does he say? <laughs> Certainly we offer it daily, making a memorial of his death. How is it one and not many? Because it was offered once, like that which was carried into the Holy of Holies. For we ever offer the same person, not today one sheep and next time a different one, but ever the same offering. Therefore the sacrifice is one. By this argument then, since the offering is made in many places, does it follow that there are many Christs? Not at all, for Christ is everywhere one, complete here and complete there, a single body. We do not offer a different sacrifice, like the high priest of old, but we ever offer the same, or rather, we offer the memorial of the sacrifice. So I love learning how St. John Chrysostom uses the term memorial, the term anamnesis. That is rich indeed. And I'm so glad that searching within collections according to a subject got me here. Okay, so that was so helpful. Now that I know that co how collections work, what I need to now add is how to use collections together with the Cited By tool. Look, I already have my Cited By tool open. And see how I have all these different collections here, some of which are, are default collections, like church documents, but some of them I've added myself. And look, we can do this. Add Aquinas, that collection that I just made. And then, you know, maybe I'll reposition him up here in alphabetical order. Add, that, the, add those Bible dictionaries. I'll reposition that up here. And then add, finally, the one on the Eucharist. And again, I'll just put it in alphabetical order. And see, now I, I can look for any biblical reference. So for example, Luke 22, 19, you know where Jesus says, do this in anamnesis of me? I wanna study that further. So I'll run that search, and now I can simply open up any of these collections. So here's one, Pope Benedict VI, he has six results. I get a preview of the text here, five of them. If I wanna see all, I can just expand this search and it opens the, the search pane where a very sophisticated query is made for me. Thank you very much, Verbum, for producing that. But here's what I'm interested in. Look at all the results that I can immediately just click and access. And this is indeed very interesting. We're inside of Sacramentum Caritatis. Uh, the Pope is talking about the Eucharist and the Sacrament of Holy Orders. Specifically, he's talking about acting in the person of Christ the head. I thought this was an interesting connection I might not have made. He's quoting, do this in anamnesis of me, but what, what reflection does he make from the starting point that the priest 
is doing something as a memorial, making present the very sacrifice of Christ. Look at what he says to his priests. He says, as a result, priests should be conscious of the fact that in their ministry, they must never put themselves or their personal opinions in first place, but Jesus Christ. Any attempt to make themselves the center of the liturgical action contradicts their very identity as priests. The priest is above all a servant of others, and he must continually work at being a sign pointing to Christ, a docile instrument in the Lord's hands. This is seen particularly in his humility in leading the liturgical assembly, in obedience to the right, uniting himself to it in mind and heart, and avoiding anything that might give the impression of an inordinate emphasis on his own personality. I encourage the clergy always to see their Eucharistic ministry as a humble service offered to Christ and his church. The priesthood, as St. Augustine said, is amoris officium. It is the office of the good shepherd who offers his life for his sheep. Isn't that interesting? Jesus is offering himself. He's acting in the person. In his, It's his person that's acting at the Mass. And so, as a result, you priests who are celebrating an anamnesis, don't let yourself shine. Let Jesus shine. That is a message I need to take to heart. I'm so grateful that Verbum helped me find this powerful and spiritual insight in relation to memorial. I'm not sure I was thinking in that direction when I started this search, but I'm so glad I ended here. That's the kind of good stuff you can find when you know how to use your tools. So learn to use collections, to make new ones, and to use them together with the Cited By tool.